Number 1, Kwaidan. Directed by the visionary Masaki Kobayashi, Kwaidan stands as a pinnacle of Japanese folklore-inspired cinema. Adapted from Lafcadio Hearn's collection of ghost stories, this film intricately weaves together four tales that delve into the supernatural realm, embodying the rich tapestry of Japanese cultural beliefs. Kobayashi's masterful direction pays homage to traditional Japanese aesthetics, employing stunning visuals and meticulous set designs to recreate an otherworldly atmosphere. Each segment of the film encapsulates a distinct aspect of Japanese folklore, exploring themes of love, betrayal, and the ethereal connection between the living and the dead. With its emphasis on visual storytelling and profound cultural roots, Kwaidan remains an indelible masterpiece, serving as a haunting reflection of Japan's enduring heritage and ghostly traditions. Number 2, Yujetsu, crafted by the legendary filmmaker Kenji Mizuguchi, Yujetsu epitomizes the essence of Japanese culture through its poignant narrative and profound exploration of human desires. Set against the backdrop of war-torn 16th century Japan, Mizuguchi elegantly intertwines the stories of two couples whose ambitions lead them down paths marked by tragedy and supernatural encounters. The film's central themes of love, ambition, and the impermanence of worldly pursuits echo traditional Japanese beliefs, mirroring the transient nature of existence found in classic folklore. Mizuguchi's exquisite use of long takes and atmospheric cinematography not only captures the haunting beauty of the era, but also pays homage to the spiritual elements deeply ingrained in Japanese art and storytelling. Yujetsu serves as a timeless testament to the human condition, reflecting the enduring cultural values and the haunting consequences of unchecked desires within the realm of Japanese folklore. Number 3, Anababa, directed by Kanito Shindo, it is a mesmerizing exploration of primal human instincts set against the backdrop of feudal Japan. This film delves into the depths of human nature, portraying the struggles of two women living in a desolate, war-ravaged landscape, resorting to extreme measures for survival. Shindo skillfully infuses elements of Japanese folklore, particularly the oni, or demon, into the narrative, symbolizing the darker aspects of humanity. The desolate marshlands serve as a metaphorical stage where societal norms crumble, allowing primal desires and moral ambiguities to flourish. The iconic masks worn by the women not only conceal their identities but also symbolize the mask of civility that civilization imposes upon individuals. Shindo's evocative direction and haunting imagery offer a reflection on the fragility of humanity's moral fabric, drawing from traditional folklore to depict the relentless struggle between survival and the erosion of one's humanity. Number 4, Jigakuen. Jigakuen, also known as Portrait of Hell, directed by Shiro Toyoda, stands as a captivating cinematic adaptation of Ryanosuke Kutagawa's renowned short story, Hell Screen. Set in the historical milieu of Japan's Jidaijiki period, the film showcases the tumultuous life of an eccentric and revered artist, played by Tatsuya Nakadai, commissioned to create a colossal painting depicting scenes from hell. The narrative unfolds with intense psychological depth, exploring the artist's obsessive pursuit of perfection and the toll it takes on those around him. Toyota's direction skillfully navigates the intricate layers of Akutagawa's narrative, delving into themes of artistic obsession, the clash between creation and destruction, and the cost of artistic genius. Portrait of Hell intricately weaves together elements of Japanese folklore, artistry, and human psychology, offering a haunting portrayal of the internal and external turmoil faced by individuals driven by their artistic visions in a society steeped in tradition. Number 5, Kuroneko. Directed by Kanido Shindo in 1968, it stands as a haunting and atmospheric exploration of vengeance, desire, and the supernatural deeply rooted in Japanese folklore and culture. Set during a civil war period in medieval Japan, the film tells the eerie tale of vengeful spirits, embodied by two women who were brutally murdered and transformed into malevolent entities seeking retribution. Shindo crafts a visually stunning narrative that intertwines themes of betrayal, loss, and the consequences of unfulfilled desires. The dark, atmospheric cinematography and the ethereal performances of the leads evoke a sense of eerie beauty and mystique. 
Kuroneko, draws from traditional Japanese beliefs about vengeful spirits, Onryo, showcasing the spectral vengeance of the two women who lure samurai to their deaths in a bamboo forest. Through its chilling portrayal of supernatural forces seeking justice, the film provides a mesmerizing glimpse into the complexities of human emotions, the duality of vengeance, and the transient nature of life and death within Japanese folklore. Number 6. Jigaku Directed by Nobuo Nakagawa in 1960, it is a landmark film that delves into the realms of horror, morality, and the afterlife within Japanese culture. This classic piece of cinema revolves around the descent of a theology student into a nightmarish journey through hell after a series of tragic events. Nakagawa's visionary direction takes inspiration from Buddhist teachings and Japanese folklore, presenting a vivid and terrifying portrayal of the consequences of sin and the cycle of karmic retribution. The film's striking visual imagery and gruesome depictions of punishment in the afterlife serve as a reflection of traditional Japanese beliefs about the underworld and the consequences of one's actions. Jigaku stands as a compelling representation of moral reckoning, employing supernatural horror to explore themes of guilt, remorse, and the eternal struggle between good and evil. Number 7, The Ghost of Yatsuya Directed by Nobuo Nakagawa in 1959, it is a classic adaptation of the renowned ghost story and kabuki play, Yatsuya Kaiden. This film stands as a quintessential piece of Japanese horror cinema, deeply entrenched in the country's cultural and folklore traditions. Set in the Edo period, the narrative follows the tragic tale of a ronin named Aiman driven by ambition and betrayal, leading to a series of heinous acts and haunting consequences. Nakagawa's direction skillfully captures the eerie and supernatural elements of the story, blending horror with tragedy to depict the vengeful spirit of Oiwa, seeking retribution for her unjust death. The ghost of Yatsuya delves into themes of betrayal, karma, and the terrifying power of the supernatural, drawing from Japanese folklore about vengeful spirits, Onryo. Its enduring legacy lies in its portrayal of moral decay and the consequences of malevolent actions, encapsulating the chilling allure of traditional ghost tales while reflecting the timeless nature of human folly and its repercussions within Japanese culture. Number 8, Empire of Passion Directed by Nagisa Oshima in 1978, it is a haunting and atmospheric tale deeply rooted in Japanese cultural norms and traditional beliefs. Set in a rural village during the 1890s, the film follows the story of a torrid affair between a married woman and a younger man, leading to a murder and subsequent haunting by the ghost of the victim. Oshima's direction beautifully captures the atmospheric tension and the supernatural elements entwined within the narrative. The film reflects themes of passion, guilt, and the consequences of forbidden desires, echoing the complexities of societal taboos prevalent in traditional Japanese culture. Empire of Passion delves into the realm of supernatural retribution, reflecting on the concept of restless spirits and the enduring impact of unresolved emotions within Japanese folklore. Number 9, Under the Blossoming Cherry Trees Directed by Masahiro Shinoda it is a captivating and enigmatic film that intricately weaves together elements of Japanese folklore and societal critique. Released in 1975, Shinoda's work presents a chilling tale of a couple whose murderous deeds draw the attention of a mysterious, ghostly entity residing within a cherry blossom tree. The film explores themes of desire, manipulation, and the corrupting influence of power in society. Shinoda skillfully employs symbolism particularly the cherry blossom tree representing both beauty and death in Japanese culture, to create an eerie and unsettling atmosphere. The narrative touches upon the idea of nature's revenge and the consequences of human actions, drawing parallels with traditional Japanese folklore where spirits inhabit natural elements seeking justice. Number 10, On Myoji. Directed by Yojiro Takeda in 2001, it is a mesmerizing portrayal of ancient Japanese mysticism and the mystical practice of Anmyoto, deeply ingrained in the country's cultural history and folklore. Set in the Heian period, the film follows the story of Abe no Saimai, 
a renowned Anmyoji, a practitioner of Anmyoto, who navigates the delicate balance between the spiritual and human realms, using his supernatural abilities to protect the capital from malevolent forces. Takeda's direction seamlessly blends historical drama with elements of fantasy and the supernatural, offering a visually stunning depiction of traditional Japanese aesthetics and beliefs in spirits, demons, and magic. Anmyoji draws from Japanese folklore and Shinto Buddhist traditions, portraying the mystical practices of divination, exorcism, and the intricate interplay between the natural and spiritual worlds. Through its rich tapestry of cultural references and mystical elements, the film immerses viewers in a world where ancient beliefs and mystical arts converge, showcasing the enduring fascination and reverence for Japan's historical spiritual practices and folklore.